So let's look at the OET structure for the letter, because this is the most important thing, the foundation, okay? Pretty simple, you start with the date. Don't mention February, January, or anything, just mention the numbers, month, day, and year. Year goes at the end. Now you mention the address, there's no specific requirement for you to mention the postal code. Even in some places you can ignore the province and uh, country as well, as long as you have the city, but it's just better to have the province and country as well. So you go with the name, the occupation, the hospital's name, and uh, or the dentist, uh, the place for the dentist, you put the address, this is the street address, and then city, I, I prefer city, province, or city, state, and your country, but even city is enough. You start with the salutation, dear, put the Mr. and Miss as well. Uh, the name, and this is the last name, guys, this is not the first name, all right, that's always with Mr. and Miss. Put a comma, put the subject. Subject always starts with re, it's usually the name of the patient, first and last name, and the, the uh, how old the patient is, okay, 67, whatever years of age. The first paragraph has to mention the purpose, the purpose of your writing. Why are you writing this letter? What's the, like, with this first paragraph, the person who is reading should be able to know what, why you're writing or contacting them today. The whole reason should be mentioned here. Of course, now you go to your case notes and the next paragraphs are based on your case notes. Um, this could be from two to three paragraphs. The example that I have here is a little bit longer. Two paragraphs are fine too, but two to three are acceptable. You then have to finish with a request. This is your second last paragraph. You always have to request something. In this case, you have to request you assess and treat Mrs. Uh, Williams as necessary, okay? So you make a request. The ending conclusion is also important. It is mandatory, just consider it mandatory for OET. After the request, your last paragraph is gonna be something generic, which is like, if you need any further information, let me know. Don't hesitate to contact me. You can pretty much memorize this and use this every time. Follow it up with your final salutation, which is your sincerely, S is a small, you got a comma there, and the occupation, dentist in this case. All right, guys, so this is the format. Now we're gonna talk about the words and phrases you could use in especially these middle paragraphs right here.